as uh, South Africa rather has posted an 8.6 billion rand loss. It reported its annual financials for the year into December 2015 this morning. A fall in steel sales prices and volumes were in part attributable to the poor showing. Significant impairments on assets also drove losses as well as a recently agreed upon 1.5 billion rand fine to be paid to the Competition Commission over the next five years. ArcelorMittal warned the market its numbers would be negative. Total sales were down 11% in 2015, with steel prices also down significantly. The industry had to contend with cheap imports rising by 35%, largely from China. But government has come to the rescue, imposing a 10% import duty on 8 out of the 10 steel products Arcelor had requested. Just because we get the tariffs doesn't mean you suddenly do a price increase. Um, so we, we're engaging with government what's the appropriate price we charge. Um, but we still need those remaining two, they're critical for us. And then in certain of our products we need safeguard duties because 10%, those, those tariffs are 10, is not enough to stop dumping from China. So we need also protection there. The Flaherty says Arcelor is working hard with government to come up with a fair pricing structure for steel. This in a bid to protect downstream industries that use steel and upstream industries like the producers of steel themselves. The steelmaker and the Competition Commission have finally agreed on a fine of 1.5 billion rand relating to Arcelor's earlier price-fixing antics. The fine is, uh, still needs to go through the competition tri tribunal and the final sign-offs, but uh, the Competition Commission is happy with the offer we've made of one and a half billion rand, um, and that will be paid over five years. And I think that just says to you that the fact that you're having to pay a fine means you are not following the laws of the land. So we've had to change the culture of the company and make sure that whatever we do, we do it right and and so going forward our relationship with government is 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 a is a collaborative one uh, we need to work together we need to make sure we protect the downstream we must protect all the jobs but we must also protect ArcelorMittal and we must have fair playing fields and that's why we need those tariffs uh, to protect us from the Chinese. Today's results presentation coincides with Port of Flaherty's leaving the office of CEO. Analysts say given current market dynamics, his engagements with government, particularly to introduce import tariffs, have put the industry at large in a better position. This, I think, is what Paul Flaherty was, was, was stressing, that if they don't run at maximum capacity or very close to that, they close the business. And I think it's very encouraging to hear that that South African government understands this and that they are saying, we understand that if you're not running at 80% capacity utilisation, you're losing money at a furious rate. And if we do that, if that happens, then government revenue also, uh, also, also falters. ArcelorMittal confirmed that it has now finalised its selection of a potential triple BEE partner, namely Limcava Resources. Shareholders of the empowerment company include individuals and companies from the engineering, construction, energy, environmental and automotive sectors. Company employees will also benefit from the tie-up. The deal remains subject to negotiations around structure and funding, as well as the usual regulatory hurdles. Lompimela Lossiziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.